Good morning from day five on board the Norwegian Bliss. We have arrived in Icy Strait Point. We're gonna head into town and go explore Huna. So why don't you come along with us and have some fun. We did just sneak into the buffet this morning before they closed it down. We woke up at 9.45ish and we got into the buffet around 10.05 after we got dressed and whatnot from the room. And they were like really shutting things down already. Uh, Breda had to grab me some oatmeal before they took the giant pot of oatmeal away. And they were starting to cordon off sections already. Although the, it's listed that the breakfast goes till 10.30, they were really shutting it down around 10. So be wary of that if you're expecting to get here to the breakfast buffet and grab your eggs and your yummy omelets and tasty breakfast treats for the morning because they will shut it down. They're like right on top of it. I had to battle to get my eggs. I was the very last person before they shut off the griddle. So don't expect to be rolling into the buffet at 10:25 uh, and get all your breakfast. I ended up getting some egg whites, about six to eight egg whites and a bowl of oatmeal with cinnamon on it that my wife was nice enough to get for me before they close it down and coffee of course. From our vantage point within the buffet here, the garden cafe, you can get a good shot of the pier. The water slides are open today and it is sunny. It's a high of 52 here in Icy Strait Point, which is 10 degrees warmer than yesterday when we were in Juneau. And it is sunny, mostly sunny today. Well, that's a lot of clouds right there, but there's a lot, there is a lot of sun out today so I'm kind of hoping that we can use the water slides here this afternoon when we get back to the ship. But I'm gonna hit the bar up first grab some mimosas we're gonna go back to the room and change our shoes and then head out into the town but there'll be lots of ship exploring later as well. Thank you. Just walking towards the back of the ship here. I did a wardrobe change and Breda and the kids are doing the same to leave the ship for a little bit. Walking back here underneath the speedway is the American Diner and every time I've walked by this place it's dead. This used to be the uh, formerly the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and the licensing deal ended over the last maybe a couple of years ago I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's always dead. This doesn't seem like this is gonna be a concept that stays here for very long. Every time I've seen it, it's dead. And they really should make it into another complimentary restaurant because the buffet is so full all the time. This would be a great spot to just alleviate some of that overcrowdedness of the buffet. That's really what needs to happen here. It also has these nice booths off to the side here that are just, way underutilized because no one's ever back here. I mean, I know it's dead now because no one's really on the ship because we're in port, but even when we're sailing, it's just a ghost town back here. Norwegian, let's make this into a complimentary restaurant. Then uh, people won't be as annoyed as much when they're in the buffet because it won't be as crowded. Just keep it as it is if you want. You don't need to spend the money changing the theme. American Diner is fine. Maybe just add some pizza or something to it if they don't already have pizza. And like there's a bar over here. This is just, it's a good spot. People are just not utilizing it. It's a huge, a huge footprint too. It's got, you know, all these windows. It's, it's a good spot. It's just way underutilized right now. Let's change this to complimentary. We solve a lot of the few problems that are on the ship. We are off the ship walking across the bridge here. It's a beautiful day here in Icy Strait Point. We are going exploring. We don't have an excursion booked here today. We did do excursions the last few days and we have one booked tomorrow in Ketchikan. Today is more of a get off the ship, see what we can find with no real plan. It's an exploring day. So let's go exploring. As we are getting across the pier, it's a great shot. Looking back at the, our ship for the week, the Norwegian Bliss. So this is where we're going right here. The free transporter gondola to Ocean Landing, Huna Cannery, shopping, restaurants, the museum, tribal theater, and the culinary theater. 
It's a four minute flight on the transporter. There, this is the big hill we're going up on. Probably about 20 feet off the ground or so. We are off the tram and headed in this direction by the giant orca. There is quite the long line to get back onto the tram to go to the ship. We had about two hours and a bit more before we do sail away. So we are gonna see what we can find and then we'll come back here. Hopefully the line to get onto the tram won't be as long. And as soon as we got off the tram, I did smell the campfire, which is always a very welcome and comforting smell for me. Having grown up in Canada, campfire is a big part of my life. And uh, it, it's a very comforting sight and smell. There are some private residences here on this boardwalk. They do have a nice view every day, that's for sure. Beautiful weather today. We have been very, very fortunate on this whole trip, honestly, so far. Also some beautiful foliage and flowers here along the boardwalk. Tori, you gotta get a really flat rock and then hold it like a Frisbee. Like this? Yeah, like this. Here, use this one. It says light too. So you wanna hold it like this, okay? And get low and throw it from the side, like sidearm. Yep. Yeah, but hard. Like you're pitching for the Blue Jays. Like you're Adam Sumber. Yes. No. Oh, you did it one time. There you go. You got it. Lauren, your turn. Go. Did it skip? No. Sure, you did. No, no. Sure, you get low. I feel like Lauren's not throwing hard enough. Oh. oh, Victoria just skipped it four times. That was the crown jewel of Victoria's day right there. There you go, you did it, Lauren. Good job. Woo. You did it, you did it. Just a beautiful day out here. The sun has peaked out and I am in shorts and a t-shirt, as you can see. I pack shorts and t-shirt. I run hot though, as you all know. And uh, Breda's not too bundled up. She does have gloves on. She just put them on though. So it's a very manageable day here, temperature wise. We are just exploring the port and the uh, ice, the port of Icy Strait and we're skipping time. rocks. We're gonna go check out the museum right now. And I'll keep the day going. Here's a map showing uh, the area which we're in right now. This is where our cruise ship is docked. We went up here and went along this gondola, the tram right here. And now we are over in this area right here. Actually, we walked, we got off of here and then we walked up the boardwalk, which you all saw. And we are right there right now at the Icy Strait Museum. So in 1944, there was a huge fire here and basically complete devastation. So then a few years later, they had to rebuild everything. And here is the flag of Alaska and the Alaska flag song. The state flower of Alaska is the forget-me-not. And this tells about the Alaskan gold rush. First big strike was in Juneau in 1880. The kids are here enjoying reading some history of Alaska. Breda's also. Lauren, learning more about Alaska. Yeah. There's also a gift shop back here. You can get your Icy Straight Point t-shirt for $26.95. This one's $32.95. Got the big bald eagle on the front. You got your hats and rain jackets in here. You can even get a mouse pad. Mouse pad, $17. And I have someone following me. Oh, I <laughs> There's this old fishing boat right here. 
in these crab traps. There's a lot to see here at this museum. I don't think we're even gonna go into the town. We have a limited time here anyways, and this is very interesting in and in of itself. They got these creative boxer shorts over here. That is the sound of the zip liner, the zip rider going by right here. That is pretty loud for a zip line. <laughs> we are looking forward to zip lining tomorrow and catch a can. You can learn about all the different kinds of salmon back here. And they have these replicas. Ugh. Toria, what have you done back here? It's painted. <laughs> and at the very back here, you can see there's the Crab House restaurant. Here's the bar here at the Crab House. I was able to get my hands on a menu. So let's take a look at that for a second. This is a popular spot here at Icy Straight Point. So the Dungeness Crab, one cluster, $20, two clusters, $39. The Snow Crab is $38. A half pound of the Peel and Eat Shrimp, $17. The Smoked Salmon Chatter, $11. The Reindeer Chili, $10. The Chicken Jambalaya, $17. That last tray of crab there that I got on that short clip was about $120 for what you saw on the tray. So it gives you an idea of how much the crab is here at the crab house. Crab shack, crab house, the crab place. And they do have this nice outdoor back patio too if you prefer to eat out there. Victoria is gonna tell us a little bit about the salmon processing Oh. And then, and then they put salt and stuff that make it flavored and stuff and that and then and then um they, all, they weigh it? Yeah they they put more stuff in it and then you have to manually manually put more stuff and like get extra stuff out. And then, it looks like they put lids on it here. And then, yeah, and then you have to, but you don't like put it all the way in because you got to get the air out. Oh. So it, it doesn't mold. Okay. And then, and then you put it here, and then you put it in big racks, and it goes into the cooker. Oh, and it goes into the cooker. For 90 minutes at 240 degrees. Oh. All right, excellent. <laughs> we just made salmon, canned salmon. Yay. They also have a Brenner's fine clothing and gift shop here at AC Straight Point. And I just checked inside, they do have the amazing salted caramels that we bought the other day. So if you bought some earlier in the trip and you stumble across this Brenner's, you can get resupplied right here. I bought 12 the other day, I'm still good. So I don't need any more, but. Just saying, if I was out, I could just restock on my caramels. Here at Lil Jen's Mini Donuts, we are gonna get some tasty looking mini donuts. It is $9 for one dozen donuts. I think I'm gonna get one dozen of the cinnamon and one dozen of the maple. And I certainly agree that vacation calories don't count. We're gonna sit back here by our rock tower that Victoria and I built and eat our donuts. Ooh. Here are the cinnamon ones and here are the maple ones. Victoria, what do you think of the donuts? Good. Lauren, what do you think of the donuts? They were good. Lauren's never met a donut she doesn't love though. The mini donuts were a big hit. Would recommend getting those if you're here at Icy Straight Point. 
As far as mini donuts go, I would say slightly not as good as the ones in Snow Lion, Oak Glen, but still super tasty. And if I was ever back here, I would definitely get them again. Great snack sitting there on the shoreline, eating those warm mini donuts. We are walking back to the ship now. We just took some pictures under this big orca sculpture. It looks like the sculpture is also done by Wyland, who painted the front of the Norwegian Bliss. This is Brown Bear Bay. Assuming there are lots of brown bears here, AKA grizzly bears. There is still a pretty long line here to get back onto the transporter to go back to the ship. So we are gonna head down that walking trail right there. It's about one mile back to the ship. First, I'm gonna take a peek here into Duck Point Bar. See what this is all like here. They have a beautiful fireplace to sit in front of have a adult beverage, these panoramic views, there is a bar to sit at, and then they have this back patio here, back patio with a gorgeous view and a nice fire pit out here. Hello. Definitely a great spot. Walking under the tram. You can probably make this trail hike back to the ship in the same amount of time as standing in the line. And I don't know if you know anything about me, but I'd rather be moving than standing in a line. Warning, bear activity. Stay together, travel in groups of 10 or more and talk while you walk. Along the way, there is also this adventure park and ropes course. It looks like a lot of fun. We actually tried to book this prior to coming onto the cruise, but it was sold out. And good thing we actually didn't end up booking it because it's not even open today at all. It is completely closed. Not sure why, but we did ask. And the course is just completely closed right now. So I can't imagine how upset Victoria and Lauren would have been if we had booked this and then gotten here to do it and it was closed and we couldn't have. It looks like a fun course. We got another fire pit over here by the trams. About to get back on the ship. Enjoying some of the campfire. And just like that, we are back on the ship, back in the Garden Cafe Buffet for lunch. And I have gotten some steamed broccoli with some porcini braised flank steak that looked really tasty. I got some horseradish there on the side and I, on half of it, I put some of the au jus. Still in port here at Icy Street. And although we are eating outside, we do have these heat lamps underneath us. They don't extend the entire way. They end about there, but we were uh, fortunate enough to get one. I'm sure Breda will enjoy that when she gets back here with her food. Taking a look here at the cocktail menu for today. Today's specialty cocktail is the pineapple surplus by Bar Lab. That actually sounds really tasty. I'm gonna try it, I haven't had that yet. And this shows you some of the other prices here. Remember, my drink package does go, does cover anything up to $15. And if you order something higher than $15, then you have to pay the difference. There is sangria. And then today being Wednesday, the drink of the day is the Bahama Mama. $9 today for those without the drink package. Any other day, it is $11. Got two blended strawberry drinks here for the girls. I'm gonna surprise them with that. And then Brayden and I are getting the pineapple surplus that Emery's been nice enough to craft for us today. We finished up lunch and are moving over here to the loungers by the pool, grabbed a Long Island iced tea. I didn't really like the pineapple surplus at all. It was, it was really bitter for me. I mean, I'm not a big fan of sugary drinks. And although that, I felt like that did have like quite a bit of sugar in it, something was overpowering in it that was too bitter. So it just didn't work for me. That's one of the beauties of having the drink package is that if you get a drink, 
and you end up not liking it, then you can just leave it. You don't feel like you're forced to drink it because you don't want to waste the money. It's just, it's, you just leave it to the side and move on to something else. This is definitely the most packed that I've seen. The pool deck here. There's, there's actually a line for the water slides right now. And a bunch of people here just enjoying the sun. It's about 54, 55 degrees and sunny. We're still here in port at Icy Strait. We should be leaving soon. But uh, yeah, everyone's got their food, got food in their bellies now after coming back onto the ship. And they're just kind of lounging out here on the pool deck. And it's actually the best pool side vibe that's been out here, been here since we've been on the Bliss. Just beautiful out here. No wonder so many people are taking advantage of the afternoon out here. Looks like a Caribbean cruise. We have set sail from Icy Strait Point. The ship is moving. Here comes the next Long Island iced tea. Thank you. And vodka and cranberry for Breda. Thank you. Breda has gone to pick up the kids from their kids clubs. And I am filling out this Canadian customs form that needs to be filled out because the last stop on our trip in a couple days is Victoria, Canada and everybody needs to fill out one of these customs declarations. So I'm gonna fill that out and take it down to guest services and drop it off. And then the plan is we're gonna to go to the water slides. I never understood that. Really. They must have we're gonna sit here and drink it. Oh no, Blackjack. Blackjack may be luring me in. Not now, not now. Gotta to get to guest services. Blackjack, I may see you later. Passing through the local. This is right where we had some late night snacks the other night. Okay, dropped off that customs declaration form. There's always a line, even if you're just dropping something off at guest services. Doing the six flight sprint. Back up to 12, that's 10. It's 11. And one more. <laughs> 12, boom. So my dad's going in right now. He's going on the drop side. I can't believe how cold he, he must be. Like it's it's really windy out here. Oh wait, I'm gonna drop him. Oh, look. Oh, oh he made it. He's gonna come out here. There he is. Oh, yeah. Came out to the water slides. You never know when it's gonna be the last possible time. So you gotta capitalize. The air temperature is cold, cold, cold after you're wet. The water temperature itself is pretty warm and it's humid inside the slide. So that's not a concern. It's when you're standing out after you're wet that you're really cold. But tomorrow we have a excursion day zip lining and the other day the water slides were just closed because it was windy so you just got to capitalize when you can and uh victoria hit up some of the slides with me too glad we got that in because you never know when it's uh the last time on the cruise that you could uh water slide it is dinner time so we have come back to the manhattan dining room and we are going to fill ourselves with some tasty food looking at tonight's menu in the main dining room the Manhattan Room. The appetizers are stuffed mushroom caps. I have ordered some of those. The Ranchero beef mini tostadas. Lauren and Brita have ordered both of those. Lime and dill shrimp. I think we have all ordered those except for Lauren. Bruschetta, I think we, we first night tonight we have not ordered bruschetta. Cheese ravioli, Victoria has ordered that. Cream of broccoli soup, sweet yellow corn and chili bisque. French onion soup, Lauren has ordered that mozzarella and plum tomatoes. We're hoping that's kind of like the one that I make at home. We have ordered that. The Southwestern smoked turkey salad, Caesar salad. The classic entrees, of course, are here, and I am actually ordering off of this tonight. I am ordering the carved whole roasted pork loin. Today's featured entrees are beef short rib ragu, country fried chicken, Victoria has ordered that, the pan seared Pacific hake filet, the bacon wrapped Cajun spice shrimp, potato gnocchi, the Chinese style barbecue pork, which I believe Breda and Lauren both have ordered as their 
main entree. I did try to order the eight ounce filet since it was so delectable last evening at Cagney's, but they told me that it was a lead time of about 40 minutes to prepare. And we are trying to get to the family karaoke after this that starts at eight o'clock. So I have foregone ordering the filet and I decided with the carved whole roasted pork loin in, 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 instead. The appetizers have arrived. Victoria has her lime and dill shrimp. It's really good. It's tasty, you like it? Yeah. What's on the bottom? Do you even know what that is? I don't know, but it's good. Okay, down the hatch. We have the mushroom caps also. We have the ranchero beef mini tostadas. We also have the mozzarella and plum tomatoes with basil, pesto, and a crostini. Some more lime and dill shrimp over here. And Lauren has gone with the French onion soup. All right, Brady, let's go for the lime and dill shrimp. Not sure what's on the bottom, but it would appear that we have to eat it together. I did eat it together. That is what equates to potato salad on the bottom. The mushroom caps are really good. It is definitely a lot of Parmesan. It's got some pesto in there. It's very tasty. These beef tostadas look really good. It's a great presentation, Breda was saying. Let's try these. Grab one, Breda. Cheers. 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 Tostada cheers. Cheers. We're supposed to scrape the beans. Oh, we're supposed to scrape the beans? Yeah, there's like Thanks, Lauren. Beans. There's, there's, there's like beans. Are you the sous chef tonight? <laughs> no, I already had one. Okay, now cheers. we need to... Tostada, cheers. Okay, mozzarella, tomato, basil, crostini bites. Let's see how you rank next to my homemade ones. You have to add the pepper or it just isn't the same. This is right up there with the homemade ones. They did a really good job with uh, putting some olive oil on the bread before they baked it. And the mozzarella and the tomatoes are fresh, as was the basil. Personally, I would have done a little bit more balsamic vinegar, but overall, I would say this is really good. It's really tasty. And we ordered an extra round of the tostadas, the beef tostadas, because they were very good. Our favorite here from the appetizer menu this evening. Moving on to the dessert, the entrees were really good. After I couldn't get my filet mignon because it was gonna take too long and we were a little squeezed for time, I ended up with the country fried chicken in front of me and it was really good, really tasty. So I'm really glad I, I got it out, honestly. Probably better than the pork wine that I would have received. The dessert menu in front of us is black forest cake, fig and apple cobbler, banana split, Creme caramel, flourless chocolate cake. There is, as there is every night, the fresh fruit plate and ice cream and sherbet available. Tonight's no sugar added daily selection is the classic vanilla cheesecake. Finishing off with dessert here in the main dining room before we head off to family karaoke. We have the no sugar added cheesecake. That was Victoria's choice this evening. We have the coffee with some added Bailey's Irish cream, which here on the ship is called Maloney's Irish Cream. That is included in your drink package. This is the fig and apple cobbler. The banana split was Breda's choice this evening. And the black forest cake for Lauren. The fig and apple cobbler is exactly what I wanted tonight. It's warm on the bottom, and then of course, there's that crispy crunch from the, the topping, and then the vanilla ice cream. It's uh, exactly what the doctor ordered tonight. Having left the dining room, we are headed towards the karaoke, passing Malting's whiskey, whiskey bar, on our way to the cavern, across from Cellar's wine bar. We are going into the cavern for family karaoke. Queen Victoria.
are outside catching the Alaskan sunset. It is 9.40 p.m. Still very bright outside. We have one more day in Alaska tomorrow in Ketchikan. The plan is to go zip lining. We have an excursion that we have booked. A treetop excursion and rappel course. Out here enjoying the sunset. We're taking the kids to the respective kids clubs. Watching the smoke billow out of the chimney up there on top of the Norwegian Bliss. It is a spectacular evening. I have just dropped Lauren off at the teen club and I'm walking towards the district brew house to meet up with Breda. This is Ocean Blue, which is the seafood restaurant here on Norwegian Bliss. There's a very distinct, enjoyable seafood smell here. Nice view out onto the Alaskan sunset. We have left the district brew house and we are now roaming. I must say that Breda is getting a lot of compliments tonight in her dress. We are now headed towards the Mojito Bar. We have come out of the Mojito Bar. It had direct access here onto the waterfront. That is what this walkway is called here along all these bars. And I am just not going to say anything here for the next few seconds while we just admire the Alaskan terrain and sunset. We are walking along the waterfront here and there's another ship really not far away at all. not far at all. We're going along the same path. Probably the same destination. Ketchikan in the morning. Breda is getting a little chilly. Her legs, are bare. her legs are bare and mine are not. But this is the outdoor bar and seating area. Open till around 930 from what I've been told. There are bars that you can sit at out here. There are heat lamps under a certain number of these seating areas. Here we go. Elevators this way. Back inside to say goodnight. What a wonderful day five we had on board the Norwegian Bliss. The day in Icy Strait Point exceeded my expectations. And this evening's family karaoke with Victoria stealing the show was sensational. We will see you tomorrow for day six. Please remember to like and subscribe and thanks for coming along.